The leaf. <laughs> the leaf. The leaf <laughs> and the cemetery. That, that was it. That was our moment, you know? We looked at each other then and it was just like, did that works. They have Kim. They, they, we were just, we were hope. We, we thought it existed and we we're like, did we just see that? Did we just see the chemistry? Did that just happen? We have yeah. history together. The scene you're talking about, Sam was so flipping cold that night. <laughs> and we were like racing the clock. And cause I think that that particular scene, we either shot right at magic hour so we could have a little bit of natural light or right at sunrise. I can't remember, but it was cold AF. Like we were just suffering. So I'm not sure we were watching for anything deeper than just survival. <laughs> but yeah, the 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 cemetery leaf moment was yeah. the, the first scene they shot together. I remember we were hung up on that bridge scene was about the um uh it's not where he says something to her like it won't hurt forever or something. Mm. Oh about. yeah. You won't be and sad we forever. You won't be sad forever, Elena. You won't, you won't be, sad. be sad forever. Nice, thanks. <laughs> and we were really, really trying to get, I remember that was like a line we were really, we were really focused on in that scene. I, you know, I remember for Paul, that was, it was a big moment. I forgot about that scene. Completely forgot about that scene. That's it was a miserable day of shooting. It's horrible. <laughs> 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 Just anecdotally, we had picked out an entire location in Vancouver. It was so beautiful. And we were like, had this amazing setting for that. And then like a week prior, there was a snowstorm and we, we woke up and there was snow everywhere, which wouldn't have matched with the rest of the, of the show. And so we had to, I can't remember if we found it, that location was the new location or if we just like took a lot of heaters out there and melted it. But it was a uh, pilot season is the worst because you're always shooting and like, Rain, snow, shitty weather, gray skies, no leaves on the trees because it's not spring yet. And everything's always ugly. <laughs> and you get to like episode two. Like everything's I pretty again. I forgot all about the snow. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> wow. I also love in that pilot, the final moment when Stefan goes to Elena's doorstep, Paul is almost on the verge of tears, like in a way that like he just had to know she was OK. And I've always wondered, like, was that scripted? Like, was the on the verge of tears thing? Was that a Paul moment? I re yeah, I remember he was scared to come to the door and he was he you know, because of the Catherine connection. And we didn't know why at that time, but we knew there was just this emotional um, stake for him to to get to know her. But he was going to take the risk. Wait, I just had a memory flashback and I could be totally making this up. <laughs> but I think, oh God, I wish Paul was on the other end of this phone call right now because like, I, I think it was so cold that his eyes wouldn't stop watering. Is that what it was? I think so. And cold? he was freaking out about it because it's like, you know, because it's like he had tears dripping from his eyes. I don't know. That just popped into my head. I will have to That's fact hysterical. check that. Yeah. I'm going to fact yeah, check yeah. that. But I have we like this weird memory. That. I remember the big thing for me in that scene was the when he steps across the door, the, the threshold. And we were running out of time. And I was like, are we going to get an insert of the feet crossing the threshold? And it turns out we didn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it I, I wonder, because I mean, it, it was so symbolic of the vampire lore, but also... She's inviting him into her world and her life, and he's also being invited in as a vampire. It had a, you know, it was a, it was a big moment, but we couldn't turn away from their faces. They had the most amazing look, and I, once again, their chemistry was there. And it was when we saw the cut for the first time. You know, we hadn't picked that song. We hadn't done any of the music work yet. And Kevin and I were in the editing room with uh, Marco Siega, who directed the pilot, and then Josh Butler, who um, who edited it. And it got to the end and that song played and as the door is opening and he's stepping in, it's the fray, you know, don't let me go. <laughs> you know, and we're just, we burst into tears because it was such the perfect music moment. And it was such a beautiful surprise that so we got to experience that as fans seeing it for mm -hmm. the first time. Like it wasn't like, oh, we don't have the right song for this. What are we going to do? Blah, you know, shove some thing in and hope for the best it was a totally magical viewing moment where we that's i think when we realized that we had something pretty great so how we felt at the end of that episode when we watched it the first time 